with another daily crypto video, guys. It has been daily every day, but almost daily. I'm about wore out. I had to rip a tile floor. It was like heated floor, and the the wire in it was like rebar. Yeah, pretty tired. But anyways, um, yeah, pretty successful day for Bitcoin. First day on Wall Street. Um, pretty good. Three point five billion dollar trading volume today. Ooh. That's just like the beginning. That's just like the tip of the iceberg, guys. This money hasn't really even started coming into it yet. I was watching it this morning. I was kind of curious what price action would do. You know, or who wouldn't? So, like 9.50 this morning, I saw Bitcoin pumping up. All coins are moving heavy, too. Then we hit 49K and dump. I, I almost called it. And if you watch my channel, you would have probably been, you know, had that been prepared for that. Because I called that. I said, you know, I feel like when we hit 50 to 70K, I feel like we're going to get a pullback. And what happened? Voila. A pullback. So... We'll be buying these tips, guys. I hate to be beating a dead horse, but I say it every video. These pullbacks, I mean, they're in the early in the bull market, you know? And I don't know what this ETF is going to do, you know? Like, I'm starting to see, I saw Grayscale literally, like, when I was looking up this stuff this morning, as soon as uh, I pulled my phone up, I saw a Grayscale ETF ad. I'm like, wow, it's already marketing war and all this stuff I've been talking about in my other videos. Yeah, in Coinbase and Crypto.com and all these uh, Binance and stuff, they're all having their ads and stuff too. It's just crypto everywhere. Crypto, 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 crypto. All in my face, crypto, crypto. Yeah, that's how you know we're in a bull market. And um, we're still early, man. Way early. I'm like, I'm just chilling right now. I'm not really worried about building my portfolio, but I am kind of like, Man, I might make a little small buys if we see big crashes, you know. But um, but other than that, I saw something about Gary Gensler. You know, he got something to say. Old blues boy. Yeah, he's uh, he he made something. He said something about. Uh, yes, although the SEC does approve the spot Bitcoin ETF. We do not endorse Bitcoin. Huh. Yeah, I have to protect people. Yeah, I have to say that, bro. You know, he was probably on the phone <clears throat> all day. People were calling him like, bro, why did you Why did you approve the ETF? You fucked my money up, bro. Like, why, what's going on? Yeah, um, <sighs> look, man, these kind of guys, they were just like, I'm just, they had a boot on my neck, bro, and I just really couldn't do much. I had to take a knee, and I had to, you know, suck bitcoins d i just <laughs> i hate to say it bro but i did make a tweet and i said that i didn't like bitcoin yeah and the day before that i, I said a tweet about you know saying no to fomo mm-hmm it's gonna protect so many investors yeah yeah trust me they won't buy bitcoin trust me mm -hmm. never have them oh yeah yeah, that was scary all day today. So, yeah. Pretty much he's salty. Well, you can't do nothing. I mean, investors are going to invest what they put, you know. You can't stop people from investing in better technology. And who wants to invest in the boring stock market? You know, we're all degen investors. We're pioneers in a crypto wild west, you know. It's not really Wild West anymore. I mean, now we're starting to see regulation. We got a regulatory approval of a Bitcoin spot ETF. It's officially like a digital asset class now. Like, it shit ain't a joke no more. Like, when Wall Street boys got exposure to Bitcoin now. So, that's pretty monumental, guys. Like, wow. Day one, Bitcoin ETF opening, $3.5 billion trading volume. And like I said, um, if you watch my channel, you, you you already know what I was talking about, about the 50K pullback. I knew that was going to happen. 50 to 70K area, I knew we were probably going to have a big, pull, not a big pullback, but 
we might we're probably gonna consolidate and move sideways for a little while in my opinion and um i'm not sure we we, we, we could hit a new all-time high before the halving that just kind of worries me because if you look at the four-year chart that might push the the bull run a little shorter the etf might have threw things off out of equilibrium you know off the four-year cycle but this might be a different cycle i mean this one like i've heard people talking about a super cycle and all this stuff i don't really you know i'm not an expert in crypto i just i've had exposure to it it's just, i've been a survivor of three bear markets so yeah i've been rug pulled i've been had wallets hacked and lost like everything i had to celsius so yeah, I had to rebuild from the ashes this past year. I've been buying the dips, buying the dips, buying the dips, buying the dips. And now I'm at, and still here buying dips. So Yep. Then you drop my dick. But other than that, Algorand and Hedera, they uh they got a big partnership going on now. I'm probably gonna make another video on that because 